Joseph, could you please tell me what this is all about? Why did I find a demand for payment letter in our mailbox? It was sent from the bank and the recipient is you, Joseph. Goodness, I didn't expect it to come this quick. What are you saying? Don't tell me you borrowed from the bank without telling me. What did you need money for? I'm so sorry. I just used some of our money for stock investment. Then all of a sudden, the stock price just dropped without stopping. I thought I could ask the bank for a loan and reinvest it to take back some of my money, but it only worsened the situation. Our money? Please don't tell me that you also used up all of our savings. Well, I kind of did. I know it's totally wrong of me, and I have no excuses for my actions. You do realize that I also have a large share in our savings, right? I worked extremely hard for that sum of money before quitting my job so that we can build a family together. I'm well aware of that, and I'm really, truly sorry. I think the only way for us to work things out is to sell our house and pay for my loan. We can always opt for a smaller house, you know, after clearing my debt with the bank. I can't believe after all my years of dedication, I'm being treated like this. You can't just do things without telling me and ask me to clean up your mess. Even the house we're living in is actually my mom's house. I know. But your mom gave it to you, right? To my knowledge, your mom finished all the paperwork and the house is now officially under your ownership. How did you find out about that? Did you spy on me? I could never do such a thing, honey. Your mom told me that personally. Please, just hear me out on this. We can sell this house transfer the money to my bank account to pay for the bank loan and buy a smaller one. Then everything will be solved. If only it was as easy as you said it would be. Look, tell me if you can come up with a better idea. I have thought about this over and over again, and the best resolution is to do it my way. Don't act so high and mighty towards me when you're the one who got us into this dilemma. I know that none of us would want this, but things just got out of hand. And we'd better start acting quickly, or else we'll be left empty-handed when the bank repossesses our house. What kind of person are you? After all the years we've spent together, now you finally show your true colors, huh? Honey, I'm still the husband you always love and care for. I'm still me. But don't you think it's common sense? That family members help each other out in times of trouble? Don't you even dare try talking me into this. As you said, this house is mine and I always hold on tight to what belongs to me. Especially when I found out about the good deed you did behind my back. Baby, you know you're my everything and I would never want to do anything to hurt you. In fact, I was just trying to make us a little extra income. Well... Why didn't you stop before it was too late? Babe, investing is a game, right? You win some and you lose some. We don't always have full control because the stock market goes up and down all the time. At this point, I don't even care anymore. Do whatever you please to settle your own problem because this is just unbearable. Please, baby, you know you're my whole world my everything, the brightest star in my universe. Please lend me a hand and we'll get through this tough time together like we always do. I don't know, Joseph. This is just too much to handle all at once. Do you still remember that time when I helped your uncle Andy get out of jail and found him a job? I think your family still owes me big time for that. Well... That's true. So, what do you say? Do we proceed with the plan that I just told you earlier? Put our house for sale, send the money to my bank account for my debt clearance, and then purchase a smaller house? Well, I... I don't even have a clue right now. Where would we be staying then, honey? 
Baby, I already found a perfect spot for us. I know the house is a little far off the city center, but we can always use a subway, right? Hold on, I'll forward you the email that the owner sent me so you can have a look at our new dream home. Okay then. Did you see it? Look how beautiful it is. I mean, look at the stunning design of the roof and the windows too. And it'd be a lie if you tell me you don't love the lawn in front of the house. It'll make a great playground for our kids. Kids? You mean you want us to have more? Honey, not just one more. I would like to have a few more kids. Baby, I just got my job promotion and I can guarantee that money will never become our problem again. Honey, this sounds like music to my ears. So, what do you say, babe? Well, I guess we'll do it your way then. Honey, you know you're the best woman on earth, right? I know I can always count on you. Is this Joseph's wife? Yes, it's me. May I know who I'm talking to? If I were you right now, I would start packing my bags and go somewhere else far from Joseph. Excuse me, miss, but I don't have a single clue what you're talking about right now. Can you please be more specific? And how do you know my husband's name? Well, it's not just his name that I know about. <laughs> I know everything about him and I know him better than you ever did. And what makes you so confident? Because I'm his mistress, you dork. Gosh, you really are an ignorant housewife like Joseph says, aren't you? What? I just cannot believe this. First, he wanted to sell our house and now it turns out he's been cheating on me the whole time. That's right. And if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't be too shocked, really. I mean, have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror? You look just as old as my grandma, and you're only half of her age. Even my aunt, who is in her 70s, is in more shape than you. And by the way, your clothes are so out of fashion that even beggars refuse to wear them. Look, I don't have time for your stupid and out-of-date insults. If you have the guts, come and talk to me face to face. And why would I ever degrade myself and have a face to face conversation with an old hag like you? Listen carefully. Me and Joseph are going to get married and you'll receive divorce papers from him soon enough. What? This can't be happening to me. Last time I remember he said he wanted to move to a new house and have more kids with me. Don't you dare make things up just to separate me and Joseph. I know he loves me very much. Haha, <laughs> now that's quite a good joke you just made. You made me laugh so hard that tears rolled down my face and made my makeup come off. I'm not going to let a little brat like you talk down to me like this. I'll ask Joseph directly and he'll give me the proper answer to all of this madness. Well... Do you want to see what Joseph has to say? I reckon the outcome won't be much different from our conversation. Look, if there's any sense of shame left in you, you should leave Joseph this instant and expect an awful consequence. Aww, am I hearing a threat come from an ignorant housewife who does nothing but stupid housework and clean up after her child's butt? I can definitely feel the goosebumps already. <laughs> Fine, I'll have a talk with Joseph to sort things out. Don't think our business is over just yet. Honey, do you have some spare time for me? There's something we need to talk about. Make it quick, darling. I'm at work. A girl just texted me claiming that she's your mistress. Can you believe it? What? How is that even possible? Yeah, right. It's a total lie. I knew that in the first place. I mean, I remember telling Olivia to keep her mouth shut until I get through with the divorce papers. 
What? What do you mean divorce papers? What in the world are you trying to say? Look, it's true what she said. The fact is, I don't even love you anymore, Lori. I mean, look at you now. You're far different from when we first got married. What do you mean? I'm still me. Still you? <laughs> well, I did quit my job so that I can take care of our family. And maybe gain some weight after giving birth to our son. Only some weight? More like tons of weight? I mean, I can't even tell the difference between you and a pig anymore. <laughs> That's so mean of you. I gained weight, yes. But it was just because I didn't have time to work out, as I was the only one who takes on all of the housework. And not to mention your skin wrinkles and your abdominal folds. Ugh. I feel like I want to throw up just thinking about it. Olivia, on the other hand, is the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen, and she makes my life happier than it ever was. As far as I remember, that's exactly what you said to me when we first dated. And for the record, I'm not even sure that statement will still hold true after she gives birth to your child. Well, I'm not even concerned about that. And how so? Do you still remember the great deal of money we gained from selling our house? Well, yeah. It wasn't meant to pay the bank. It was meant for me and Olivia to start our new life together. With that amount, I don't even have to go to work anymore. And Olivia can work out as much as she wants to keep her beautiful body in check. What? That's right. In fact, all that thing about me going bankrupt because of stock investments, it was all a lie. You don't know how hard I laughed to myself when you agreed to sell the house. <laughs> you... You're not even human anymore. But what about the letter from the bank? Well, Olivia works at the bank, so it only took her a few minutes to replicate such a thing and make it look real. Admit it, you can't deny how perfect my scheme is. Not a single plot hole. I can't believe you have the nerve to treat me like this. This is unacceptable. Blame me as hard as you can. But it won't change the reality that you lost your house and all of your money. <laughs> Bitter much? I can't stand the fact that you're the one with whom I've shared my bed and board with for years. As for our beloved son, David, he can stay with you. I won't bother fighting over his custody, because Olivia doesn't want me to get involved with anything that has to do with my old marriage. How can you be such a cold-blooded person? It's your own son. I'm calling the police now. You can't get away with this so easily. And what are you planning to do about it? You don't even have any proof. You really think that they're going to believe in just a simple text between you and me? Just wait and see. Lori, tell me, did you do all of this? And what exactly is the thing you're trying to tell me? Look, today is my wedding day with Olivia. But all of a sudden, she received a summon letter from the police accusing her of faking legal papers. Well, she did do that after all. The police aren't blaming innocent people, you know. On top of that, the big screen started projecting the footage in which me and Olivia talked about our plan to take over your money and your house. That happened in front of all of our guests. Someone has to stand up and reveal your true self. And I'm very honored to do so. I mean, how on earth did you get that video? Well, it wasn't that difficult after all. One day I was doing the laundry and I accidentally found a small note in which you wrote the date, time, and location of the secret meetup between you and your little mistress. What? How could I be so stupid? Yet, you said your plan was impeccable, 
How ironic. <laughs> and what happened next? Did you spy on us? I can't believe any of this. Well, I just couldn't help myself to follow you guys and recorded some interesting conversations. What a tricky person you are. But if you knew about my scheme in the first place, why did you still approve of selling the house? Well, I just wanted to play along with it and see how evil you can become. But I thought you actually fell for my trick. My messages were so convincing. Well, now you know you're not the only one who knows a little bit about acting, right? You cow, you're gonna pay for this. You and your girlfriend didn't disappoint me at all. I mean, the facial expressions you guys made when you saw the video was priceless. <gasps> I think I recorded that moment too, actually. What? You were there at the wedding too? I don't recall having invited you. How could I miss such a treat? After all, it was the best part of my plan. Seeing you guys being deceived by your own genius plan. <laughs> Fact still remains that you lost your house and your money. Are you even listening to yourself right now? Have some sense of knowledge, will you? The police have already blocked your bank account and the money will be transferred to its rightful owner, which is me, of course. You think you can outsmart me, huh? You broad. In reality, you still lost the house that your own mom gave to you. Well, the person to whom you sold the house is actually one of my friends. And I know for a fact he would gladly return the house to me after I pay him his money back. What? You're only talking nonsense. I refuse to believe that I was being led by my nose the whole time. Now you and your beloved mistress can all be enjoying your great time together in jail. I wonder what your honeymoon would be like behind bars. <laughs> now you know the feeling of being betrayed by the one who's closest to you. Lori, please. The police can come any minute now. Can you just tell me that things between you and I are settled? I can give you back all of your money. Just please, spare us from this. Don't even think about begging for my forgiveness. After our 10 years of marriage, you decided to let it go down the drain and find someone new? You even have the audacity to trick me into selling my own house? Honey, I know it was wrong of me, and I'm feeling very guilty about my action. Well, you should have felt it sooner. Imagine if I fell for the trap that you set up. I would be living on the streets by now. If that actually happened, would you even have any mercy for me? Or you're just gonna laugh in my face for being ignorant? Baby, please, for old time's sake, think about the good old days that we had together. Enjoy your time in jail and don't ever let me see you again. After getting to know my ex-husband's true self, I'm so glad that I got rid of him. Well, I do feel sorry for our 10-year marriage, but it isn't worth saving because of all the bad deeds my husband did to me. Now, I really appreciate spending time in my own house, the house that my mom gave me. Being a single mom is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me because I get to take care of my son and continue to pursue my unfinished dreams. I also got in touch with my former company and asked if they could consider employing me again and let me reassume the position that I once held. To my surprise, they said yes without having to think twice. And they always see the potential and dedication in me. As for Joseph and Olivia, after several years in jail, they finally got out of it. But they can't seem to forget that old grudge and still send me hateful letters every now and then. But I don't even bother reading the letters. Because they only show how pathetic Joseph and his girlfriend are right now. For the first time in forever, I really feel like that I'm completely free from all of the burdens that my ex-husband put on my shoulders. 
I'm embracing this fresh start with lots of happiness and hopes for the future.